So today I'm going to show how to make uh, Turkish simit. And this is uh, kind of a cross between a bagel and a pretzel. It's, it's, uh, it's baked, so it's not, it doesn't have the same uh, chewy exterior as a, as a bagel. Uh, but it has a very similar function in terms of how it's used. So to begin with, we have 400 grams of flour, one and one third teaspoon of dried yeast. This could be thought of as a heaping teaspoon, I suppose. One teaspoon of salt. And then We've got 250 milliliter or 250 gram of water and oil. Now, the oil is variable, uh, and I, I've seen a variety of recipes, uh, some calling for as much as two tablespoons of oil and some calling for uh, none. If you like your simit very soft and chewy, then you can put two tablespoons of oil. If you like it more pretzel-like, then uh, leave the oil out. I'm putting in one tablespoon for this particular recipe, for this particular batch, and I kind of vary between one tablespoon and, and two, depending on uh, my mood that day. By the way, if you're a real sesame flavor fan, consider using some sesame oil to flavor the dough. A little bit goes a long way, but I found that it significantly affects the flavor. Now I mix this. Now, we're going to knead this for 15 minutes. <clears throat> and I wear gloves for kneading because I have dry hands and it makes it just an all around easier and cleaner process. Uh, nitrile gloves are great, the uh, dough doesn't stick to them, and uh, as I say, if you're someone who's got dry hands like me, it uh, all around makes the process just a lot easier. Put down a little bit of flour, not a lot because I don't want to get too much extra flour incorporated. <clears throat> the hydration level here is, is about 60% in the neighborhood of 60. Uh, I suppose that after you get extra flour, you know, it might be high 50s, low 60s. <clears throat> and when it comes to the kneading, I also like to, to use a timer for this. Alexa set a timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes, starting now. Okay, so we'll come back after the, the kneading is done. It's been five minutes and we're already starting to get a very uh, elastic uh, loaf. It's, it's very nice dough to work with. I wonder sometimes if uh, moving to a bread flour, this might turn out very different. Uh, maybe that'd be a good experiment. This is uh, simply an unbleached white flour I'm working with today. Okay, there's 15 minutes. <clears throat> Get the gloves. 
mostly clean. We've got a very nice Alexa, dismiss. Alexa, dismiss. We got a very nice, happy elastic ball. So we're gonna let this rise now for, uh, well, until it doubles in size, depending on the, the temperature and the weather. Uh, you know, I think somewhere in the ballpark of an hour. So we're gonna put this in a clean bowl. Give it a quick dose of oil. The outside uh, from sticking. And now I'm gonna cover it in uh, saran wrap. Come back in an hour. While the uh, dough rises, we're going to make the uh, surface coatings. Now, basically, you have a, a, a sweet surface coating that helps uh, make the surface sticky, and then you put onto that a toasted sesame seeds. Uh, you're supposed to use peck moss, which is I'm not entirely certain what, but it's some type of Middle Eastern style uh, molasses, and I don't have that, so I'm going to be using just regular molasses. And I'll put in 40 grams of regular molasses. Slow as molasses, there we go. And 120 grams of, or 120 milliliter of water. Okay. So that's gonna be our, our uh, surface coating. We're going to give that a quick stir. Some of the recipes call for warm water, but that just speeds up the rate that the molasses goes into a solution. Okay, and then in another bowl we're going to put in toasted sesame seeds. Uh, I bought sesame seeds in bulk and I pre-toasted them and I've just been storing them in, in my uh, refrigerator. But you basically need a, a fairly good coating of these. I, I uh, sift and, and reuse them. Silica packet. Okay. So now when we make our simit, we're going to take and uh, form them, give them a quick uh, dip in the uh, molasses water mixture, and then uh, coat the surface with toasted sesame seeds and then let them proof for 20 to 30 minutes before we throw them in the oven. It's a cold day, so it took about an hour and a half for this to double in size. That's okay. We're now ready to move on to the next step. And that is uh, forming the simit and then proofing and baking. So we're going to take our dough out, which is an absolutely gorgeous dough. And 
we're going to cut this into 16 pieces. This is going to make 8 simit, but the simit requires uh, a two pieces each to make the braid, or the twist, I should say. And maybe I should uh, weigh this out, but that's okay. We'll be okay like this. Okay, so I'm going to take these and I'm going to set these aside, kind of pairing them together so that I keep the uh, smaller ones together with the smaller ones. And because it takes a little bit of time to get this all worked out, I'm going to cover these with plastic so they don't dry out. Cover them as best I can with plastic. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take these and we're going to roll them out into about 12 inch little snakes. Maybe a little longer. It's 12, 13 inch. I guess they're elastic enough that if you roll them out to 13, 14 inches, they'll, they'll shrink back. And what we're going to do is we're going to form these, dip them in the uh, molasses, dip them in the uh, sesame seeds, and then normally I, I put them on a, uh, a baking sheet with parchment paper, but today I'm going to try the silpat. I, I got these two silpat from my mother, and I'm going to cover them again with... Um, plastic wrap to keep them keep them uh, uh, from drying out and then after we put them out we're going to proof them for 30 minutes while the oven preheats to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and uh, and we'll bake them So, I got this rolled out, and then I just do this. I put them together, take the two ends, pinch them like that. Now I dip, dip. And I, I'm putting about uh, four per. I'm putting four per uh, baking sheet, so they have enough room. Okay, so I proof these now for 45 minutes. Again, it's kind of a cold day here, so it took a little longer. And we're going to put these in a 400 degree Fahrenheit oven. For my oven, it takes about 19 minutes. I've done this before, but anywhere between you know 18 and 21 minutes, depending on, on what it takes. Alexa set a timer for 19 minutes. 19 minutes, starting now. Alexa, dismiss. So 19 minutes, and uh, this is the final product, Turkish Simit. Uh, now, 
in the photographs, many times these are a much uh, darker brown, and I, I think that that possibly has to do with the use of uh, peck moss as opposed to molasses. So I, I know that peck moss is supposed to also contain some type of grape product. So uh, I think that these are hot. I think that uh, there's probably some tannins involved, but these are still quite tasty and. Uh, really very pretty how you know, with, the, with the rising you get the spreads, you get the stripes of uh, uh, sesame and, and uh, flour. So these are, uh, again, they're kind of a cross between you know, a pretzel and a bagel. Uh, all around uh, tasty and they, they make good sandwiches or they make they go well with peanut butter, uh, jam, you know, honey, etc. So this is uh, how you make Turkish simit.